What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jamaica here, coming at you with another deck tech. This is my Veril's Knot deck for the Penny Dribble 500. Uh, in recording, it's, it's actually about an hour right before the tournament, and I really couldn't figure out what I wanted to play. I had a couple, like, restrictions in my head. The first one being that um, it beats, like, most of the top decks. The second is that, obviously, I mean, that's everyone's restriction. The second is that, actually, it could actually play main deck, main deck Nile Spell Bombs, which I think is really important in the metagame. It beats up on like Reanimator, Aggro Slide. Uh, it kind of can mess up Aggro Colossus or Anvil Colossus, and um, yeah, it's just kind of a, just a good card overall. And then um, finally, it plays a lot of creatures that don't really have a, a bunch of Enter the Battlefield effects. I mean, this one does has obviously Dreadnought, but uh, with the 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 White Stifle Knot decks or Hush Knot decks, whatever you want to call them, um, I really don't want to play a bunch of creatures that would get nerfed by that. So instead, I'm playing my own, but in a different shell. Um, but I've played this deck before. Uh, the first time I played it was... Oh, I just looked this up. Was it Season 14? No, I, I just looked this up. I looked it up twice. Um, season 12. I think, no, Season 12. Whatever. Um, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. You just kind of combine Frags and Dreadnought and Verils. And with the Verils, with the Dreadnought in your graveyard, you can get 12-12. But I added the extra ability of actually having 12-12s in play with Eldrazi Mimic. Which is pretty great with a lot of other things here. So let's just go through the deck. 20 lands. Uh, it's a really low land count. But honestly, um, the curve is really low. It actually stops at 3. So I only have a couple 3 drops. It's not a really big deal. Hazing Quagmire is a um, pretty good uh, creature land. It's another just creature that is cheap to activate. And you can also uh, scavenge stuff on it. And it would actually just become go back to a creature. I think like green-black is a really good combination. Because you get land or waste and like wood... With the cemetery, all all color combinations have like a check land, but not all of them have a pain land, which is like actually really big for your consistent mana base. Because I can cheat on a lot of like non, um, like just swamps in general. So I have like, I have about like six untapped swamps. I don't need it on turn one, but like on turn two, I kind of need like an untapped swamp. So I have like pretty much like if I start with forest, I have I'll have like ten untapped black sources, which is I think it's fine. I'm not, I'm not like a land wizard, but I just kind of like go with what I think is right. Um, Birds of Paradise, Elvish Mystic, just kind of the uh, mana door of choice. Birds of Paradise is actually really good because it flies, and you can, you actually win a lot of games by just um, scavenging, you know, a 12-12 onto a flyer. It's just, it just has its own evasion, so that's pretty great. We already talked to Dreadnought. Um, PD 500 winning Dreadnought, back again. Uh, this time enabled by Eldrazi Mimic, which is uh, a creature, which is good. You know, it's a 2-1 on its own, so the scavenge is not bad if you had to scavenge a Mimic on something. So, um, And Veril's obviously kind of the linchpin. This is kind of just like the core of the deck. You want to do this really quickly. If you start with like a turn 1 Mana Dork, you can turn 2 Mimic Dreadnought. That's pretty much the fastest that any deck could do in this format today. Um, but why is this in Creature? Why is it important? Because uh, we had a Fauna Shaman to the deck. Fauna Shaman gives the deck a lot of consistency. If you have, like, just rampant, like, Dreadnoughts in your hand, and you have a Fauna Shaman, you could discard the Dreadnought, go get a Verils, play the Verils, and all of a sudden, you've already set up everything. Uh, Grizzly Salvage, another way of finding all the pieces. So, um, it's actually really good at, like, putting Dreadnoughts in your graveyard. If There's a lot of, like, fun tricks you can do on your main phase uh, to get around things like Spell Bomb and whatnot. So, um, Grizzly Salvage is a really great card. Um... Just it, it basically just like draws five cards in a weird way. <laughs> Not really. It makes like draws two for like two mana, which is really good. Uh, the rest of the cards are kind of just role players. Shriek Maw, the creature that is kind of like a Doom Blade. You can find it Fallen Shaman, kill some creatures. Genesis, you can kind of start looping your creatures uh, back and forth. Uh, sort of a late game addition. Also good with like Shriek Maw. Law of the Trolls, another sort of like way of putting creatures in your graveyard. Um, also just an, an alternate win condition. It's pretty good. It's pretty good to uh, scavenge on. With the Verils, because it has Regenerate, which is actually kind of a broken ability in um, the modern day Magic era. They don't do Regenerate anymore, so a lot of cards don't um, reference Regenerate. Cards like Putrefy, which is also kind of like a just kind of like a do like a catch all. It's kind of like my Vindicate, I guess. But yeah, cards don't really deal with Regenerate, other than like Terminate. Terminate's actually really good against this deck. Uh, Main deck bombs, like I mentioned before, it's just a good sort of hedge against a lot of the meta. A single Brawn. Um, Sometimes you can just have a big creature and no way to get through. So trampling is pretty good. You just dump it in your graveyard with the and it's a creature, so you can discard the fauna shaman, go find your things, and you're all set. Um, the sideboard here, blood chief thirst is extra kind of removal 
for like the small weenie decks. Uh, Mesmeric Fiend when your removal is bad. You need some sort of like discard outlet or discard thing. So Mesmeric Fiend is good. You can also combo with the barrel, so you can just kind of exile their hand completely. Uh, Snakeskin Veil is kind of like my answer to like mid range decks or like things that are trying to like one for one, especially things like Terminate, which I mentioned was really bad. So you can just give your creature hexproof and um, you're good to go. Sometimes they just have like one removal spell and you don't really. That's all you need to counter. Like one or two removal spells once you get a 12 12 in play or a big creature. You only need to counter like one or two things. So Veil's pretty good at that. Uh, Return to Nature, kind of a catch all, doesn't jam, also good for graveyard hate. Rec single Reclamation Sage, another kind of. Disenchant to find with Fauna Shaman. And then the other spell bombs, because don't want to lose a reanimator, don't want to lose to all those uh crazy combo decks. So, like I said, PD500 is starting pretty soon. Um, this time I'm not gonna display the whole VOD. I'm gonna do my best to try to like just play my matches. So you'll just see all of my matches and everything in between. And then um if I make top eight, you'll see the top eight. That's uh in its full scope or just like me commentating it with someone maybe by myself i don't know we'll see the day is young got about like less than an hour to go so gotta do a lot of things for that so join me on another pd500 run all right round one here we go no lands great start excellent start yeah i mean i have a backup plan for my internet but it's already it's already going to crap um, I'm gonna down, downgrade my bit rate here. Give me a second. We're just gonna go to like two thousand here. Hmm, this game, this hand's fine. I can keep. Oh, mono red. Okay, that means this thing's gonna die. You can stream. You should definitely stream. This is loud for me. Hopefully, hopefully the lower bit rate will be helpful in the Lack of drop frames. So if a frame two drop, I apologize in advance. Um, okay. Something will die here to a burst lightning. So I have to figure out what to sacrifice. I think I'll just like go with the Fauna Shaman. Because if I draw like a Dreadnought, I want it in play and it'll be pretty great. Yeah, hey, bye. They are another chain. That's fine. Oh, it's too quiet. Honestly, if I draw a twelve twelve, I think the game's actually over. Yeah, I, I took a long walk and I just tried to figure out what I wanted to do, and I don't know. Somehow, I came to this conclusion. <laughs> um, let's see. The Mimic can just trade with one of the things. I think it's fine. Kind of want to trade down and then just kind of like figure out from here. I am at a pretty high life total. So it's... They've, man, they've drawn a lot of lands. Hope they're not on like some sort of like experimental or frenzy build. That'd be kind of nuts. If I'm being tagged. So many chain lightings. Sin prodder, well that's gonna die. Um Okay, that's a pretty decent draw.
So, I guess I have to kill this now. I don't want to extract any value. Am I getting light too? Let's put a professional here. That's better. That's better. I'm not in the shadows anymore. Um, I just have to take this because I think it's just better off if I draw like, if I draw a twelve twelve, I can discard it and then make a Verils. See, so like if I can if I can draw like a twelve twelve, I can make a Verils and start blocking, and maybe just kill my opponent if I keep chaining creatures. Okay, I can still trade that for something. Um, I can get like Shriek Maw and like Shriek Maw. No, it's not our. Oh my god, it's everything. Shriek Maw is so bad. It's everything bad. Artifact and like black creature. So I guess I get Lotless Troll. God, it's actually so incredibly bad. I might just block the birds here. They'll probably send, yeah, that's fine. Don't want to get like burst lightning kickered. Yeah, Viral Scavenge came in okay too. They drew another 2 2. Um. Okay, Fawn Shaman. Just kind of chumps, honestly. I actually don't mind just like chumping at all. Okay. Just mono creatures. They mono chain lightning is mono creatures. This is easy. I'll totally. Tr I don't mind trading all this. Sure. Um, no, I haven't won this season. Buys are overrated. We all know that here. Um, just hanging out. Okay, what are they holding? It has to be a burn spell. Oh, Genesis? So there's a lot of things I could do. I could just play a 4-4. Four -four, or I could just discard the Genesis to start, like, chaining. I think I just, like, play the 4-4. Four -four. I could actually start attacking, maybe. It's a five-turn clock. Okay. I don't know what they're holding. If they're holding like a burn spell, they might as well just point to my face because then they could draw like a chain lightning or whatever. Um. Now Shriek Moss seems pretty good. I'm not gonna evoke it. I'm actually wanna play it next turn. Just to kill the Stromkirk Noble, so I'll just hang out. Still dead to like two burn spells, so just kinda hanging out. Okay, first lightning kickers on board. 
I think they might have been just waiting for Bursa to kick her. That's good. That's a good draw. All right, good old five mana, <laughs> five mana FTK here. I'm attacking. I have to start attacking. Sure. I mean, I already knew they had it. Okay, let's brick, 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 brick. They didn't brick. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. They drew like four chain lightnings. Or they threw it through three chain lightnings. That was actually kind of insane. But it's to be expected. I, it's so sad how, like, Shriek Ball is just not good. <laughs> um, let's see. Wait, is this my old version? Hmm. What is... I'm, I'm, like, missing sideboard cards. That's so weird. What do they register? <laughs> I think I like missing sideboard. I think I like edited it and then like I'm like missing something. I'm missing like three sideboard cards. Really weird. I wonder if I registered it. If I didn't, then it's just like Yeah, I'm actually so weird. I don't. Okay, I don't know why this is different. I'm gonna fix that after this. Yeah. Well, I know what I'm missing. I'll fix that after. I think my list is old for some reason. Oh, you know what happened? It's because I disconnected. I disconnected in the middle of something, and and it didn't save my it didn't save my uh thing. Like I kind of wanted the snakes and veils in this matchup. <laughs> Honestly, because I, I shouldn't have this putrefy here. So that's like not. Let's just ex pretend that's not there. Let's just pretend that's not there. And I'm just going to bring a Blood Chief Thirst. That's a little annoying, actually. Because I kind of would have used those. I might have used those Snakes and Veils. Hmm. This is. This play is a little harder to do. Although, I mean, just having it is still fine, so, but I'm going to cut one. Um, I mean, all all that matters is protecting a 12-12, so... Once I get a 12-12 in play, the only thing that matters is protecting it, so... That's, that's really, like, the, the idea behind it. It just counters a spell. Think about it that way. It's like a counter spell. Which I think is fine. Hmm, that's a bit unfortunate. I'm going to keep, though, because all the trolls are pretty good. I mean, I'm not expecting to do much. This is kind of like a last-minute decision. <laughs> so, just kind of just kind of vibe in at this point. So I don't want to just run out the Lava Troll, because they'll just die to any removal spell. I just want to wait. 
Um, so I'm going to run out the Mimic instead. I'll trade. I would actually trade here. I don't mind. I can't believe, like, MTGO just sucks. <laughs> it's just like, I can't believe it sa didn't save my deck list. Okay. Incinerate can't be played. It's good. Well, I mean, I'm gonna... Let me see what they do here. Hmm. I might just sack two. I might sack two creatures to leave keep this alive. I'm actually down. You don't think I will, but I will. <laughs> That's how crazy I am. I'm actually gonna just play the Fauna Shaman. Oh, there's a Dreadnought. I'm feeling frisky, I'm gonna start attacking. This resolves, I get the Dreadnought for something. Okay, you got it. Or this like stays alive, I get to go. Okay, unfortunate. I draw a mimic. I mean, make a twelve, twelve to be really nice. Hmm. Attacking. I can just. Block with the Quagmire, maybe? Or I could just salvage. I don't want to just sell. Uh, I couldn't really draw to get myself out of this. I'm going to salvage. Maybe just... No, I drew the Mimic. Interesting. Mm. I'll take two for that. Well, your first round, congrats. I'm down the game here. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, let's see. Attack for five. They have an unknown card. Okay. So the last card has it like a burst lighting or like a spike field hazard. Okay, they just have six. Um, what do I lose to? Land, Burst Lightning? Uh, 
So, hmm. If I just attack, they're not gonna block. I can block the mimic. I can block the abbot. I lose the like double burn spell. Um, the sin priders are really annoying. I can also just play the birds as like a double, like I can like double block a sin prodder, and then just like. And then, like, block, like, the abbot. This is actually kind of interesting. Hmm. Like, but then if I'm, like, doing that, and I'm, like... I might not, like... I might trade. The, the abbot might trade if they have a spell. I, I I think I'll just pass. I, I think I can't really do much here. Next turn I kill them. Next turn I just kill them, I think. Okay. Alright, whiff, whiff, whiff. Um I could have that one, I guess. It just draws a card. It's it's a bit annoying. I could have that. Okay. Um yeah, put that graveyard. I think I just like to have to have let him have it. Pretty confident attack. Doesn't scream great for me. <laughs> Maybe they're just like looking for the abbot to like draw them out of this. Or they have they just have it all. Primstone Polly! Really? Okay. Alright, I'll just dead anyway. Alright. I was just dead anyway. Okay, then. That's how it goes. Round two. With the black green barrels not deck. This hand's okay. I can keep this. It's got playable cards. Lands and spells. Well, good luck. Vulcan's part. Well, sorry, Vulcan getting to five. Unfortunate. After I typed hello, good luck. It's a little, it's a little uh, bad timing there. <laughs> Game trail. Oh, they got an Obosh. Oh, no. Gruel Obosh. Alright. This could be kind of annoying. Ooh, okay. I want to actually start with an Altruistic. Okay. I'm gonna go for the Fauna Shaman. Like start they're they're already like down to one card, so I I doubt this thing will die. I think their best bet is actually put the Obosh in their hand. But even they really can't cast it, at least it draws them a card. I think I'm gonna go get uh Dreadnought and then go get Verils. Okay. 
Interesting they played that over a spell after they're playing as a land. That's actually super interesting. Alright, never mind. I found the Dreadnought. Um... Which land step to do this? Okay. I'll just take seven, I guess. I'm gonna make a 12 12. I'm gonna make a huge Fauna Shaman in a second. Uh, barrels. Might be nice. That was nice. Um. I'm actually gonna put it on the barrels. It's just the biggest thing. I could just start chumping here. I could just. I can start searching for like brawn. Also, it's like regenerating. <laughs> also, it can regenerate, so it's pretty good. I don't have to like do anything. Next time, I'll go find brawn. I can just chump here, chump here, find brawn. Try to end the game in like a couple turns. Where's Brawn? There you are. I have the forest. I have this. I have a forest too. Perfect. Great how that worked out. Um. I think it's the best. I mean, I could probably just find a new card. But this actually puts a creature on the field, so I could like block if I need to. Um, it is pretty struggling because I'm actually just recording as well, obviously. I'm obviously recording and streaming, so it's taking a lot of computing power, it seems. Yeah, this should be good. This should be good to just end the game pretty quickly. My opponent did mulligan to five, so it's a little unfortunate for them. I don't know how they're going to get out of this. Red-green is pretty hard to be the 14-14 regenerator. Red-green, huh? Um, Gruul Obosh. So, everything goes in like 1s, 3s, 5s, because everything has to be like odd-numbered. So, Blood Chasers does kill a lot of like mana dorks. It's not bad. Shriek Maw's gonna be pretty great here. I got something like Snakeskin Veil. I don't know if they have like things to kill regenerators though. I could bring in a couple Blood Chiefs Thirsts, I guess. For the spell bombs. Spell bombs are just pretty bad, so just having a couple of extra removal spells seems fine. At worst, I just kick it and just kill something. Who hasn't joined their match yet? Okay. Fake Baker. Everyone seems to be playing except for...
I can't like accuse someone not doing it. Let me just look at this real quick. Sorry, this is the TO stuff. They are online. So I don't know. They are playing. They have two matches open. That's a confused the crap. They had two matches open. Uh, I tried to do too much for these people. Okay, I'm gonna keep this hand. This seems fine. They kept seven. I draw a swamp this is pretty nice or a land or a waste. Okay. I just shriek ball the next thing they play. Okay. Ooh, I kind of almost have six too hard there. Mm. But yeah, Shriek Ma definitely seems to be the play here. I'd like to salvage for a land maybe this next turn. Depends on how this goes, okay. So another three drop. Okay, they're going to Obosh in their hand. Salvage for a land is kind of risky, because if I don't draw a black source, they're going to play the Obosh, and it's going to be kind of bad. I can take out their second red source with the uh, with the Blood Chief source. I think I'm going to do that. I feel like I'm playing from behind, though, because if I draw like a Mountain, it's just pretty bad. Okay. They drew the Valley. I'm gonna just keep stone raining them, I guess. Actually, I'm surprised they didn't just play this as a thing, as a as a mammoth. Okay, I do the waste pretty decent. I get to blow this thing up, and then I guess I can play Bonish Shaman. You thought your opponent was playing 8 whack? Alright, they have a removal soul for that. It's totally fine. Oh. Do all lands. Happens. Alright, they have an Obosh in their hand and a bunch of random cards I don't know about. Probably removal spells. Um. I'm just gonna salvage, maybe. See what happens. If we draw a land. I kinda want lands at this point. Okay. Thanks for the follow. You have two Willis Birdo counts. Interesting. Um I guess I'll get the Quagmire. It could be good down the line. I was thinking about getting the untapped land, just play a Mimic, but it's probably not necessary. I might just play double Mimic next turn. They might they might have like Sweltering Suns though. It's like a it is like an odd colored or odd numbered spell. It's true. I haven't seen a 12 12 yet. I'm bound. I'm due. Pretty much due for that. So I can expect this deck to play things like Glorybringer and like other good like five drops uh, to go along with the Obosh. I was really happy to kill that Bird's Paradise because I think it was like their only red source. I had to guess her hand is probably either like a bunch of five drops or a bunch of removal spells. 
All right. Army Broken Brow. What the heck is this? Well, there's a thing in its head. That's crazy. Haste. Change the base power one plus the greatest. Oh, okay. That's uh, annoying. It, what is this thing in its head? Alright, I'll play a Mimic, and then I'll play a, a Barrels. Uh, it's a green mana. I need a green mana. I can make my creatures pretty big. Um, There's a lot of creatures in the graveyard already, so... Those barrels can get really strong. Okay, I'm definitely gonna just sack the mimic to save this. Just gotta load up on this guy, I think. Okay, um... Uh, let's put... I guess another Fauna Shaman on this. This kind of puts it out of, like, a lot of burn range. The old... Let's go, Golem Piker! Let's go, go, Golem Pikers! Not blocking. Excellent. But draw a 12 12, the game's over. Unless they have a removal spell for the mimic or a blocker, I guess. Okay. Spell doesn't really work that well against me, especially if I draw a 12 12 right now. Alright, that's, that's, that's a good pop. I think it's like good to just kind of get rid of everything right now. But if I draw a 12 12 anyway, they, I could have just easily have had priority all the time. Alright, that's a brawn. I guess I'm just attacking with all my creatures. And then just playing two other creatures. They missed their, their fifth land drop. I think it's a big key of their deck, for sure. Especially the, the second red source with the Obosh. I'd be happy to trade the Brawn for the uh, Arnie. But I don't think it's going to come to that. Because the game's going to be over. If anything, I could just, like, sack, sack this to regenerate. Sack all my creatures, load up the barrels, and just kind of get in for the rest of the damage. Uh, this guy is also Dead Touch. Dead Touch Trample is pretty great mechanic as well. So, I could just, like, plow through a lot of blockers. Alright, Spellbreaker, not super scary. Oh, okay, I can just draw a Dreadnought. I'll just play the Dreadnought, I guess. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll just play a Dreadnought, I guess. Super overkill. Super overkill. 
Round three, Penny Dreadful, uh, Golgari, Barrels Not deck. With a die roll, good start. Looks like my opponent has a companion card, so we'll determine, greatly determine what it is. Giganta might be cycling, so nice test here. Um, I'm gonna keep. This could lead to fun fa two two final shaman unanswered. Could lead to some fun things. I think truly are better than White Claw, actually. Alright, um... Already found the Veril, so I just need a Dreadnought, so let's get the party started. Discard the Brawn, go find a Dreadnought. Um... Yeah, White Claw is just like a, a new age sort of light drinking option. So he's like the light beer of the of a new age. Okay. Nothing super threatening yet. I'll have to draw an untapped land here so I can play a two drop and uh search. It's gonna be the case, so we'll just hang out. Um So a lot of interesting things I could do here. Um, I could actually find find a dreadnought, play the dreadnought, let it die, then like draw land, play the Verils, equip something. Um, yeah, I can also just go like get a dread. Like I could make the mimic into a twelve twelve. I can actually just keep chaining twelve twelves. The problem with playing mimic here is if they play like, eh, if they play like a spark spray. It's not a super great play. I mean, my initial idea was just to go get a Dreadnought. And they could make a 12... I could just make a 12-12 the next turn. They, like, tap out. So I'm just gonna hang out. I'm just gonna pass. Maybe they just, like, tap out and they do something. They tap their red source and they just don't do anything. I'm pretty happy about that. Once I make a 12-12, it's really hard for them to kill it, so I have a lot of options that way. And even if the 12-12 dies, I can just get the barrels and I make an even bigger creature. Perfect. Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, I thought they were just... I didn't want to block. I thought they were phasing through their turn. Right, let's get our Brawn. Go find a Dreadnought. All right, make this a 12-12, sack it to the 12-12. Not a bad turn. I don't have a force for Brawn, which is really funny. <laughs> Sorry, just to see if people are not playing. Okay. 
Okay. What if they adopted me deck shredded sails? That'd be kind of scary. But even if they do do that, I have the ver like I said, I have the verils to back up. I do have a forest for brawn. Okay. We all know this game. Just start attacking a bunch. Just keep attacking. Like, yeah, I might take a lot of damage here, but I'm going to keep attacking. Okay. Well, crash. I'm going to crash in for sure. I'm just going to play the barrels just as another random blocker. I could just like, I think the Fauna Shaman, I think I'm done with Fauna Shaman, so I could just like chump the Flourishing Fox if I really need to. The only thing that keeps him kind of in the game is like a, a Zenith Flare. I can make the I can even make the uh dreadnought bigger now with the with the barrels in play. Which is really funny. So they could put at least I mean if they cycle everything, they could put a lot of power in front of this, but it's still not really enough if I can just like uh make it pretty big. Golems start playing? Good. They start playing. I, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's really hard to kill the 12-12. Uh, they can't really take another hit, because I'm going to make it a 14-14. <laughs> I'm going to make it bigger, so... It's definitely still a lethal attack. Okay. It's a good rift. It does it can take out something here. Maybe potentially. I mean, if anything, I just trade the Fauna Shaman for the Verils. Okay, so let's see so you guys see what they're targeting with the lightning rift. They probably go dome. They might the best bet might be just to go dome. Alright, they're gonna target the barrels, so I'll have to Okay, they're gonna pay. And they've already told me they're gonna pay, so Fauna Shaman, you gotta eat it here. There's no way they attack, right? There's no way they attack, right? There's no way they attack, right? This is on board. This is an on board kill. The Veryls is going to live this turn. I'm going to scavenge. There's no way they attack, right? Okay. Um. I want a Grizzly Salvage, honestly. I should have salvaged first. Because if I got another 12-12, I would have won the game. That was really bad. I could have actually just, like, salvaged. I would have just, like, won the game on... You're on a delay anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so they can't feasibly take this. So I'm just going to attack with this. They'll probably just chump 
Well, now I guess I just chump with the Drana Stinger. Maybe I should just put two on. I'm just making so many bad plays. I'm making so many bad plays here. Yeah, I'm just... I could have... That's a good line, too. I'm making so many bad lines here. Because now they, they survive another turn. Oh, so bad. Because I could Flare now. Oh my god, that's even better. Except, if, unless they have Flare. This is, like, super not good. I mean, they have to have a lot of mana for all this. So, I don't know. I might have messed up here. This is pretty bad. This is really bad. I'm actually super scared. I think they just try to... I think their best bet is to cycle into a flare and stay alive. But even still, I could still, like, kill them. <laughs> I put the uh, scavenge counters on the barrels because they have to use, like, two rift... They have to rift me twice. They have to rift it twice, so which eats up a ton of mana. Man, I played so bad, and I'm still, like, rewarded, I think. Okay. I feel like they're just gonna flare me. Okay, they're flare the barrels. Sure. This is still pretty lethal because they have a ha Quagmire in play. So, like, they can't, like, block both. Go, go, Quagmire! <laughs> so, I mean, if the Quagmire attacks, like, if they block, they block the Quagmire, they die. If they don't, if they block this, they still die. They stake, like, 11. That's 13 on the dot. Okay. Got out of that one. I just want to draw... Yeah. Alright, I wouldn't have hit. I wouldn't have hit. It's okay. I wouldn't have hit. That was one off. That was a card I drew, so... I was one... I'll be one away. How do we sideboard here? Um, I actually don't know. <laughs> um, I actually like Snake Skin Veil in this matchup. Weirdly enough, I think it might be okay. I don't want to like load up on spell bombs. I think two is enough. I think a lot of the fight is just about protecting my dreadnought. Putrefy might be a bit slow. I might. I kind of want to try Snake Skin Veil. That might be... I don't know if that's good enough, though. We'll see. I'm gonna cut the Genesis. It's actually, Genesis Shriek Ball is not bad. I can just, like, blow up a lot of things. Um... I want to play a Rex Sage, too, for a Lightning Rift. I want to I wanna jam that in here. Like, really... Like, they're going to bring in all these, like, artifact removals, so if I can just protect this guy at least, like, once or twice, the game is over. Bloodshed Shirts might be a bit more efficient than uh, Shriek Maw, too. But I think Shriek Maw is just fine. Actually, I want to I wanna go full. I just want to full. 
We'll go full nonsense. So maybe salvage? Yeah. Let's try this. I uh, clearly have not like thought about my sideboard very much. I just put together a sideboard and figured it might be okay. This is a decent hand. I'm gonna keep. They're both getting the five. I don't want to like revel in that, but it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Not too bad for your boy. My hand's not amazing, but I mean, I do have turn two Fauna Shaman, Dreadnought, gets Ferals. Their best bet is like a Lightning Rift, like pretty much now. Like turn two Rift is going to be a, a really annoying card. But it kind of cheats my game plan a little bit. I'd love to see rather a creature. All right, that's fine. All right, Fauna Shaman. Please live a turn. Appreciate that. If you mean to cycle that instead of play it, oh, that would that would be an unfortunate misclick. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Just cycle the healer instead. I think they want lands in play for sure. Okay, I like the attack, nice and aggressive. Yeah, pretty much sewn up against a lot of different strategies. I can't get blown by a Xenoflare unless they kill this. Um, I'm gonna make a big guy soon. Uh, let's see. Play the bird, so I'm just gonna pass. Just end the turn, Fauna Shaman in it. They could have their own, like, spell bomb. Or something that'd be kind of annoying. But pretty much, I had to like make a gigantic Verils and attack. They could, they could have like Celestial Purge. That could be kind of annoying. That'd be a super duper annoying card. All right, a little late to the party here with the Lightning Rift. Let's draw a land, and then like scavenging. Scavenging is a sorcery, so it's a bit hard to deal with. I think I'm actually gonna um get the fauna shaman I'm pretty huge. The bird's a little scary because they have a spark spray, they can just knock that out. So I think the fauna shaman is actually the best bet.
Okay. Plus they have like burst lightning, which would be insane. Or like Edge of Autumn. Edge of Autumn would be kind of insane too. Okay. We're the we're on the road to somewhere, not nowhere. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Um, love it, love it. The damage is done, though. The damage is done. <laughs> that's why I wanted. That's why I wanted snakes can veil. That's all I gotta do. Protect. All right. Let's see where they point this lightning rift. They're gonna point it to the barrels. It's definitely gonna protect it with sacking the bird. They can't attack. They cannot they can in no feasible way attack. I might just salvage for another 12-12. I don't know if they know I have salvage in my deck. I can even like just discard Law the Troll, like quip attack or something, or salvage attack. There's no way they can attack here. There's no way they can attack. Alright. Um, well, let's get lucky. Brawn, Brawn Dreadnought would be insane. Okay, there's the Dreadnought, and there's a Brawn! <laughs> I was just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> that was last turn. <laughs> just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> the only card that can have is like a condemn. That was such an insane rip. Oh my god. <laughs> alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. <laughs> that was a bit lucky. I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit lucky. Alright, round three with Pain Dreadful. Gogari, not deck. Two and one, not too bad of a start. I'm gonna mulligan this hand, not enough lands. It's got pretty much everything except for lands, so a bit unfortunate. Uh, this hand's a bit better. Uh, I can keep. I think I'm just down for like lands and spells. I think I might bin the Quagmire. I kind of want to play the turn one spell bomb. Looks like my opponent also mulligan. A look, a look. Link them to Geo Chat. Okay. Try to answer a question in the Discord chat while playing. Ooh, Honor Guard. 
Well, I get the Shriek Maw this, which is pretty great. Wait, I get to play my own Dreadnought. Okay, I'll just play my own Dreadnought, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I can also just play my own Dreadnought, which probably seems better. I can't kill their Dreadnoughts, though, which is really annoying. I wish I had enough mana to Shriek Maul and kill their Honor Guard. But, I mean, they just bounce off each other, I guess. Okay, I guess, I guess they have two. Interesting. Yeah, if you... Really? You already lost? If you want to do that, that'd be great. I think I'm a draw card. Yeah. Sorry, I had to do something. This, this Shriek Moss is so bad. <clears throat> this Shriek Moss has been actively terrible, I think. I do have Putrefies in my deck, so that's a saving grace. All right, let's look at five. Try to find another thing. Um, hmm, it's not good. Cause look at the birds. Now I kind of wish I'd kept my um <laughs> my uh hissing quagmire. I'm I'm actually happy they're playing the Honor Guard stuff because I can play my own Dreadnought stuff a lot easier, but this is kind of weird when they have two. Because <laughs> they're just going to bounce off each other. Okay, now they can get in with a Shambling event, which I think they'll do. They can't really, like, block anything else. Yeah, I mean, I have removal in my deck, so it's pretty good. Um, Just block here. Take a bunch. The Shriek Moss is so bad. I wish it was any other creature. Actually, that, I wish it was like Ravnus Chupacabra. Which probably wouldn't, was my other choice. The other Troll Troll would be nice. Um, no. Huh. I was expecting one, not two. <laughs> Alright, let's just pile in some more removal. Blood Chief's Thirst. Like Rex Sage. I still like Shriek Maw though, regardless. Wait, do I? So it kills Honor Guards, it kills it kills the Hushman Griffs, but that's pretty much all it does. No, it's on that's on black non artifact, so it's actively bad. I kinda like Return to Nature, it's not bad, but it doesn't really kill the other random creatures that they could play. This might be just it. Just a bunch of blood a couple of putrefies, call it a day. Um, I'm gonna play Snakeskin Veil too. Let me protect my own guys. I might need. I don't probably don't need as many mimics. Savage is like really good though. Hmm. 
I'll just throw you one more card to. I might just cut Elvish Mystic. Just kind of shaving random things. Yeah, it only kills like one thing though. Mm, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Uh, this hand's even better. It's, it's awfully slow with a bunch of tap lands, but at least I can kill the first thing, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna get rid of the extra barrels. At the very least, I get, like, a turn two birds, which kind of, like, puts me back on track. So this is pretty great. If they play their own Honor Guard, I get to play my Dreadnought and kill their thing, which is really funny. Okay. So they have an onboard kill to kill my Dreadnought. That's why I brought in the Snakes and Veils. I feel smart. And even if they kill it, I have the Dreadnought anyway. <laughs> I'm also going to play the Mimic. Maybe the Mimic would have been better. I think Mimic would have been better. I could have played the Mimic, and then played the Elvish Mystic, would have had 4 mana, then I could just get in for 12. And I can't really seal a cleansing that. I guess I could still do that next turn. You got it. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right, actually. Why don't we draw an untap land? Yeah, I <laughs> probably would have killed them. <laughs> I actually would have definitely killed them. Yeah, you're right. Like, I could have played the Mimic and done a bunch of nonsense. Um, But I don't know. I guess I'll play this really slow. I guess I just hit them for like a billion. The lines are still kind of crazy for me, honestly. Um, I'll still take it slow, though. I'm still gonna like take it really slow. I'll just do it next turn, I guess. They haven't made any creatures yet, so I think I'm still pretty good. Although, they make a blocker for the Mimic. It's going to be a little annoying. Okay. <gasps> Snakes can veil. Um. Oh wait, that's right. This doesn't happen. Wow. Um, I did this wrong. Um.
I'm still doing this really badly. They've condemned their, like, masters of the game, I guess. I'm gonna hold up Snakeskin Veil, so I'm not going to attack for lethal, but it's whatever. I kinda did that badly. I forgot that- wait, what? Oh, this- oh, I guess this- Okay, oh, okay. I'm, I'm dumb. I played it so badly, I fumbled through that, but I still got there. <laughs> I may still play Shriek Maw. Maybe, maybe I do want to return to nature. I think they're just like, it's just good enough to play. No, it's a two mana pseudo tomb blade. It doesn't really, it only kills like 10 things though. 8 things if that. I'll just keep it like this. I think we'll be fine. Um, it's not black on artifact, so yes, it does kill. Oh yeah, it doesn't because of, yeah, you're right because the inner battlefield effect. It's really bad. So that's why I have to oh, mulligan. Honor Guard's so good. Oh my god, this is kind of a horrible hand. I'm on the draw. I'm gonna keep it's a bit bad though. I just need to draw a black source. Yeah, I kinda wish I had just Blood Chief Source at this point. Um or just maybe, ma maybe just max putrefies. I haven't really played a putrefy yet, but they seem okay. Alright, I'm good at this game, I guess. All these seals are cleansings. I have the reclamation stage for the seal, which is pretty funny. And the veil, anyway. All right, I drew a dreadnought. It's funny, I actually can't wreck stage something to play a dreadnought or an honor guard. But luckily I have the like the blood chief's thirst. Sure. Um this is going to be a great turn. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is going to be an amazing turn. Counter, 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 counter. <laughs> and now I even get a plus one plus counter that, like, get bigger than their dreadnoughts, which is hilarious. They have a second seal? That'd be so funny. Okay. This reclamation stage doesn't do anything. It's a lot worse. Sure. I just realized how bad rec stage is now. <laughs> if they have their own honor guard. Oh, cool, I have a putrefy. Um... This is going to be amazing. Hexproof! Yay! Everyone's favorite mechanic. My herb tonight. Um... I kind of want to kill the honor guard now. Not gonna lie. It, 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 
it it puts a lot of bad cards. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the honor guard. Cause um, if they draw a dreadnought, it's just really bad for them. And I can play the Rex Sage. Eh, yeah, I can do it in response. It's whatever. That's also a good idea, but it's whatever. I'm too confident. I'm way too confident right now. Spell bomb. That's just a that's just a decision tree. It's not a punt. It's just a decision tree. They're just decision trees. That's fine. Hashtag decision tree. Yay! They don't have brave elements. They absolutely do not have brave elements. Results! That's all that matters. All right, round four, five, five, round five. Paint triple five hundred. Black red, black green. What are, where am I? What am I playing? I don't know. I'm playing this deck. Barrel's not. No mulligan. Just don't land. Um, this seems seems fine. I can keep lands and spells. If I keep the spell bomb. I would be useful. I I guess I'll get rid of the Lilith troll. I don't really know what my opponent's playing. Okay. Rootwalla. Raw Rootwalla, huh? Huh. I guess I'll just get, like, Fauna Shaman. So confused. Maybe Stompy, I guess, or, like, Madness? Blue Green Madness, maybe? So confused. Black green madness? Oh goodness. Okay. Can't shriek ball that because it just ch changes the black. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. I guess I'll just kill the root wall up. No, maybe I just wait for. I think I just wait for arrogant worm. Honestly. I'm gonna make a mimic, and then end of turn discard this. Make a twelve twelve. I'm kind of worried about like removal though. Like if they had their own blood chief thirst, might be a bit annoying. <laughs> All right, temple of malady. Where's we going here with the scry? Scry's at the bottom. Alright, big attacks. No block. I think they can spell bomb. Even if you try to madness a creature, the spell bomb actually kills an arrogant worm. Because they have to hit the graveyard first. Or not. It just gets exiled immediately. What does this do? Huh. I guess not. I guess I'm just wrong. Oh, discard an exile. Never mind. I'm bad. <laughs> Alright, Night State Assassin. What do they kill? What do they kill in here? The rule change? Oh. I guess I'm gonna get a Dreadnought and hope for the best. I, can't, I said I'll get a Dreadnought, hope for the best. Alright, they're showing Scrabbler and Asylum Visitor. Okay. 
Okay. Streak wall looks great. So you have two random creatures that don't do anything against my Dreadnought. Oh, make a 12-12. Do I make a, a Mystic or a Shriek Maw or something? I guess we're just like Shriek Mawing. Um, it's a Rootwalla. All right, what do you got? What do you got? <laughs> All in. All in on this, so let's see what happens. I guess the worst the spell almost like a redraw. Okay, Constrictor. Not bad. They have two. These are the cards in their hand. Grave Scrabbler and um, Silent Visitor. I guess they have like a weird go wide plan, but I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work out for them. All right, Veril's is a nice backup. Sorry in advance on the stream, just kind of apps every now and then. <clears throat> I'm just gonna make the Mystic and pass. I like pop the spell bomb for a random card. <clears throat> okay. I guess this makes a lot of creatures. Wait. Okay, now, wait, my spell won't get to use now. Use, use. Yeah. <laughs> spell did something. Finally. I guess, like, feasibly, they could put, like, a billion things in front of the, uh, the 12-12, but then, I, like I say, I have the barrels as a backup, so even if they trade their board for the 12-12, I have barrels and I make, like, a big idiot. <laughs> or they could just draw, like, a Putrefy or a Blood Chief's Thirst. Sorry. Sorry, I have to make sure everyone is playing. Looks like everyone found their match. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna take all of this, okay? Or not? Um, so they're gonna block like five toughness. I guess I could have made the thing even bigger with the barrels. Sorry, I'm just lagging a bit. It's hard to record the matches and stream and do all this. It's kind of a lot right now for me. Okay. Is there a plan just to trade it all away? Or that can't be the plan. Okay. So I gotta play the visitor. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, they're just pre adding the mana. All right, they're selling the farm here. No idea. 
You can go to SwissTriangle.net. I think it's the best way of doing it. 5, 7, 9, 11, uh, 14 power. Could definitely trade with the Dreadnought. They could take four creatures and put it in front of one. But then they make a Verils, <laughs> and it makes it huge. Sorry, my connection is just really bad. We're still waiting on something, okay? Yeah, I was almost playing. I was about to play with a whack, and then I decided not to, because <laughs> I didn't like the red deck matchup at all. I really did it. That's what it came down to. All right. So, do you put everything in front of it? Do you just kind of like use the mongrel to block? Oh, they're, oh, they're going for the super chump or super trade. They would go to, um. All right, looks like they're going to trade it all. I mean, if you do this, you might as well go all the way, right? Seven, ten. One more creature. Yeah, it's perfect. This will take three trample damage. All right, let's play the Verils. Make a 14-14. Pass it up. <laughs> the thing about the Madness deck is that, I mean, if they ran out of cards, they, they really can't do anything great. All right, that's kind of annoying because they don't have, like, a, a, a Brawn yet. So this kind of blocks endlessly. But I guess I can, like, make that really annoying by just pumping the Mystic. Yeah, I think I'm just, like, scavenging a bunch. Just making some large people. Actually, I don't even do... I want to get the Fauna Shaman to play. So, I think I'll just attack with both of these creatures. They have to block both of them. I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I have to block this. Maybe we should have made it so they have to block this. They should block this. Okay, they're not. This is fine. This is totally fine. Spawn Shaman attacks for two as well. Alright, I have to restart MTGO at some point. I can feel the program just crashing. We're just struggling. So after this round, I'll have to change, change it out. Oh my goodness, this is the struggle. The struggle of, like, bad connections is happening. Either from my opponent or myself. Either, I think both of us are kind of just struggling. I think me... No, because you want to have a forced round count. So you want to have the player number, and then the forced round count, which is seven. So you don't need to include the buys, I don't think. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is going to be a ton of drop frames. Just because my internet's really bad. It's happening right now, actually. <laughs> But we haven't, like, lost the connection. I've dropped a lot of frames today, it's, it's true. It's kind of like a slideshow.
All right. Big old elf incoming. Must blocks here at this point. Yeah, my stream's not usually this bad. My internet just kind of like has gone to crap. But thanks for sticking around, guys and gals and everything in between. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah, I hold myself to a certain quality, though. A certain standard. All right, more chumpers. Braun does it at any point. Okay, that this was also this is also lethal. Now I have a flyer. The MTGO cares about connections. <laughs> yeah, it basically blips off for about like five to ten seconds and it comes back. Which is really annoying. It's very very detracting, but then again, I'm sometimes the only game in town. I don't know what the other streams are doing, but I think like actually I haven't even really looked at the standings. All right, gonna scavenge onto the bird. It's a, another lethal threat. Oh, Baker's undefeated! Wow, wow. Baker's just been complaining this entire tournament, and somehow he's undefeated. <laughs> I'm the lowest nine. I think my opponent, the the one that beat me, who was it? They oh, they're like two and two. And everyone, everyone I've beaten is in like really bad. Has done really not poorly. <sighs> okay. Um. Couple blood cheesers, gonna take out the spell bombs, just need more removal. The thing about madness decks is that you just really want to take out the core of the deck, which is like the madness creatures, Deuce Constrictor, and um uh Wild Mongrel. Once you take out the legs, every every it, all their spells are just kinda like normal spells. Um That's pretty much it. I don't think I'm gonna bring in anything else. I've got like a mystic. Wow, right? I don't know what's happening. Discord just like blinked. My internet blinked. Oh, okay. What the heck happened there? I was typing something and. Hmm. That was weird. I don't know if anyone else saw that. It, like, I was typing something and I think a line got deleted in Discord. I have no idea. Anyways, I'm going to keep this in. Seems pretty decent. Like, I am still live, so. Seems like I'm still here. Okay, spell doesn't really do much against me. I kind of learned that most of the time. Yeah, I gotta restart MCO. Yeah, we have um Xfinity slash Comcast, which why it sucks. Okay, if I draw like a um 
Blood Chief Thirst, I'd love to kill this. Or even like a Shriek Maw. Alright, let me let me play this. I'd love to play this. Hello? Okay. I'm gonna put my hands off. Hold on. Okay, we did it. <laughs> I'm having some weird issues. <laughs> I'm having some scary issues. I'm, I'm just so afraid to do all this stuff. I don't know if I'm waiting to resolve or my opponent's clock is. Maybe we were both having terrible problems. I do I definitely need to restart into Geo just after this round. After we spectate some things. There's no way they have a board wipe, right? <laughs> There's no way they have some sort of weird board wipe. Like, they pump their own creature, play Flag Tundra, that'd be insane. Next turn, I'll probably play, like, Lot of the Troll Fauna Shaman, and just start doing my thing. The uh, spell bomb can't really like beat my priority if I do it right. I'm just lagging really bad, I think. I don't know. Okay. I feel like I'm lagging. It just feels very sluggish. But I, I also am like locally recording this for YouTube. Um, so that might be just eating up a lot of like resources. And Empty Geo is a resource hog as well. So it's just kind of like doing a lot. I'm just like struggling. But it doesn't seem like I'm struggling. But I definitely am. I mean, it's just one song. I don't know what to tell you. It's just there. Okay, all my mana dorks have survived, so I can definitely make a big, big creature pretty soon. Okay, I just need to regenerate this guy. Alright, reroll that comes down. I'm gonna just regenerate this guy now. If it if it lets me. If it lets me, I'll wait. I think I put that option in. I don't want to jam it. I I I don't want to jam it. I also don't. I don't want to pass priority. I absolutely don't want to pass. This thing has just been spinning like crazy. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> I've lost a lot of time. I honestly lost a ton of time on this. This is very threat. This is very scary because I, I could easily win this game. I just have to, like, play my cards. <laughs> I literally just have to play my deck. And I, I don't think I could lose this. Except to myself. Okay. Um, do a land. It's actually a good land. Um,
All right, Mako Verils. Um, I don't want to like lose to a removal spell, so I'm just gonna wait a turn. The problem is they have a spell bomb, so I have to play it in a way where it doesn't. I still have priority to scavenge. You have to think about that. So if I discard. So if I discard the, the Dreadnought to the troll, then that means it's in the graveyard. Discarding the part of the cost. I mean, I could put the Mimic on there. No, I know what you're trying to say, but my, my line is better. <laughs> my line is better, so... I know what you want me to do, but you're it's bad, because it doesn't play around the Spellbomb. You have to have priority on your turn. The only way you can do that is if it dies on its own, which is the best the best way. The best way to do it is just to let it sack it to itself. Um, I get priority back, and then like, I, and I, I still hold priority. Alright, obviously gonna block. They didn't they just offered this kind of block. It's pretty crazy. I'm just gonna fauna shaman. Um it's just guaranteed to get the troll uh they get the uh dreadnought. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. Just get it on the troll here. Hopefully they don't have Putrefy. Putrefy would be kind of gross. Alright, so like I said, they, did, they never get priority this way. So I just don't pay for this. And then I get priority back. And then I scavenge onto my trampler. Trample Regenerator. If I do that, then I don't get the other 12-12. That doesn't really matter. Because then I lose it. If I pitch it, then I lose it. Because of priority. They will just instantly do it. They instantly bin one 12-12, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's attack for 16. They lose the Spell Bomb? I don't care about the Spell Bomb. <laughs> what do I want to care? <laughs> It's not winning them the game. They have to deal with this. This is the threat. Okay. I have no idea how they're going to beat this. It's huge. It's hard to kill. Even their cards like, um... Their cards like Heartless Act, which they have in their deck, is, like, really bad. Because they can't really destroy all the counters. I don't know how they get out of this. They have to have like a Putrefy or some really specific card. All right, let me Grizzly Salvage. Um, there's a Brawn. I kind of don't want to take anything. I'll take the birds, I guess. This thing has reach though. Well, I should take a creature. Yeah, I should take a creature to just make it. Yeah, I just it just turns into a twelve twelve. I think. What am I saying? Give me the creature, please. I think I want to take creature here. Okay. I'm not going to do this yet. I don't want to hold... want to hold regenerate here.
All right, I'm going to play around Return to Nature as well now by just doing the same line as last time. Can I play it? Waiting? Or just this way? It spins counterclockwise. Or clockwise. No, it spins clockwise. I don't know my directions. Just waiting. Just waiting for MTGO here. By the way, for my opponent now, it's on my opponent's turn. Um, do do do, just waiting. They all trample too. That's pretty cool. I hope so either. I don't have any outs of that. Okay. <sighs> Wanashama's gross. Wanashama's been really gross. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been a really insane magic card. No, I'm 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 breaking up really bad. I have to like stop the stream for a minute and then readjust. Yeah, it's on my end. It's really bad. Kind of goes in and out, especially lately. I didn't die. I just, it's just effing a lot. <laughs> it's only when I record. Okay, cancel. No, it's MTGO too. Once I restart MTGO, I feel like it'll be better. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. This could be amazing for the YouTube. It's so suspenseful. It's so suspenseful. <laughs> High sus suspense. Jesus, I'm just like going up and down. It is wild. Can I put this in the graveyard? I have to do this, otherwise I can't... I mean, that probably doesn't matter. I'm just... I think I'm winning the game regardless, but I really need to ensure my victory here. I can even put Death Touch Trample if I felt like it, which would be a super game. I don't know if I've won yet. Oh my god. Oh my god, I entered it so bad. It just keeps, it just keeps rubber banding like crazy. It's so bad. Like my bid rate, it's, it's so bad. Oh my god, just let me win this. It's gonna look way different on the YouTube video, but I'm like, it's stressed. It's like, it just keeps like canceling and uncanceling. I'm like looking at my OBS, it's like, it, it just keeps like effing back and forth. I just have to stop the stream, finish the game, and just do it for the YouTube. Just let me have this. Let me have this. Oh my goodness. Okay. No. I don't want to do that. It's been fine overall. Oh my god. Just let me have this. Oh my god. Let me have this. It should be stable now. Okay, let me cancel this. Or not. I can't cancel it. I don't know what's going on. I think I might get I might just get disconnected from MTGO right now. Relog? I feel like if I relog, I won't be able to get back in. Look, I'm waiting on the server. The server is waiting for me. 
My opponent can easily just take this win. I feel like they should take it. <laughs> like, there's no way they could lose. The only way they could win is by me, like, not... not being able to do this. Okay. I have to make a decision here. This is scary. I'm... Like, my internet seems stable now, but I'm, like, stuck in this weird loop. Alright. Alright, I have, like, three minutes to decide this. It hasn't moved, which is really bad. Alright, I guess I have to close MTGO real quick. I'm gonna stop streaming, too, so the stream's gonna come off. Now you can see the struggle here of... Oh. I mean... Now we're just gonna... Okay, now I'm relogging. I'm not streaming now. This is this recording is just a recording. I don't know why it still has, still thinks I'm live. Uh. Oh my goodness. I guess I could still like chat with the people, but I'm not like streaming streaming, but I need to like get back in. It's still like red. Why is it red here? Oh my god. If I disconnect here, this is gonna be so brutal. Okay, see, I can just show you. I mean, it's just loading. I'm just loading here. Um, hmm. Why is my internet so bad? Why is it so bad? <laughs> Why is it so bad? Oh, gosh. I have no time for this. I think I'm just lost. I think I'm actually lost. I think I just have no time anymore. It was really bad. Like, I have to look to, like, do I go all out of this or I just, like, make a new connection? I have no idea. It's just not loading. I had lethal. I had like super lethal. This is so rough. This is the problem with MGO. Some it just hates bad connections. But my connection, I don't know. They can't like solve my connection. I guess. All right. One more. This is the grasp of fate here. As I desperately try to tether my phone to my thing, but I think I'm too late. I feel like I'm too late here. I should have done this before, but, I mean, that's hindsight. That's just a hindsight call. That's just hindsight. I don't do hindsight talk here. Oh, my God. I've already lost. I already know I did cheat, I think. All right, let's try this one. Uh, okay. Okay, what's happening? I don't have a red thing. That's not good. I think I just timed out. I definitely think I timed out, which is really sad. This this would be red if I had a game still going. I was trying to make actions. Oh my god, I timed out. Oh, wait. Oh, I did time out. God, that is so brutal. That sucks.
All right, next round. The uh, I'm gonna activate my camera. Next round, honestly, a bit disappointed. Disconnection issues. My opponent definitely took the win there. I couldn't really get back as you noticed, but uh, we're here to the next round. I think that just pushes me out of top eight, which is actually a bit frustrating, honestly, because I definitely had the win rolled up. See, I'm on my uh, different internet now. I'm just like, it's it's so bad. So I'm reloading the avatar. So yeah, this is brutal. So I can't even like see the pictures. Um, I think my opponent's playing Esper. Esper Control. I think I've been doing that all season. I want to mulligan this hand. I'll keep. This hand seems okay. Get rid of the Shriek Maw. This is where I'm at. And this is where I'm at. But for the sake of the video, we'll just definitely continue this. All right, give me this. All right, I think answer someone's question there, but uh, I'm just gonna play two things. I think my best bet about playing against a control deck is that I just kind of have to get on board quickly. This is just peak. This is just peak. Peak like. Oh, this is peak MTGO. This is what happens when you have a bad connection. Just downloading everything takes forever. But yeah, I want to just flood the board. They have to have like a pyroclasm or something. Which are blue black. This is a nice tunnel, right? Okay. So if this thing resolves or just like stays around, I have a bunch of black mana to kind of keep um keep it around. I'm just gonna cycle this now for a land, I think. Okay. I think I have Lingering Souls, so maybe I just want to keep it for her souls. God, I had I I gotta keep like I gotta keep my head in the game because like a loss like that is just like super devastating. But I mean, you gotta just. Kind of keep focused and just keep playing. Try to like win on a end on a good good note. I'm gonna play the Verils here. Kind of walking into like a board wipe. Not really. I can regenerate one and regenerate the other. So this is pretty good against board wipes. I might just counter this. It's fine. <laughs> is it a counter spell? I guess. There's a picture. Pictures are slowly loading. Oh, here they come. Okay, they're gonna oust this guy. It's totally fine. I think I'm gonna pop the spell on after all. I just wanna draw a card here. Just think back to the um back to the lava troll. I have spell bomb. Just having a main deck, you're just never really dead because you can just continually just play it. You can just draw cards. I'm gonna jam the brawn. If it dies, who cares? <laughs> Although I think a three three, I get my old hill giant, trampling hill giant. Sure. It's funny because I'm using this out overlay for the chat. <laughs> I guess I don't have to use it, but I guess it makes more sense if I keep my face here. So I'm not actually streaming anymore, but it's kind of whatever. Hmm. 
Hmm. Luckily, like new school rats like Shattered Sky doesn't don't account for uh regenerate effects, so this is pretty decent. Okay, they're gonna intervention though. It doesn't count for that. Or total card, what could it be? It's behold the multiverse, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, it's not a bad spot to be in. Um, just have a bunch of things going on. I really just hope my opponent just uh, have a board wipe or something like that. But I mean, they're, they're continually turning through a deck, so it looks pretty good for them. This thing hasn't loaded yet. Oh, there it is. What about this? I don't know. Alright, they put a Zerda in their hand, I think. Okay. Luckily I have a putrefy in my hand. Okay. Those are pretty desperate, but I mean not worried. Alright, putrefy this thing. Finally started tagging again, but my opponent's taking a lot of time here to just kind of build the resources. The next turn I'm going to draw the Lava Troll. Someone texted me. What is this? No, I'll look at it later. Still, so no board wipe yet, or no sort of like removal. So I'm just gonna keep piling it on. Probably gets countered here. No, or not. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay. All right, let me just regenerate here. Should have actually regenerated with the, the creature mana, but it probably doesn't matter. Barrels is a nice one. Can I make use of all the creatures in the graveyard? Attack first. I, I swear, regenerating is just so good against some of these uh control decks. It's really hard for them to deal with with new school cards. Might be better just to put it all on there, but Soul Shatter, okay. Hmm. Just to make the most of my mana.
All right. Um, they found a winning condition. Stabling event. I don't know how they killed it. I just kind of looked away. Vindicate. Uh, I guess I'll just dig and see what I find. I'll take the barrels. Hope for the best here. Keep the Dreadnought in the graveyard. Hopefully you don't have another random removal spell. All right, uh, I'll just, hopefully there's something encountered, put all my eggs in this basket. Hopefully this is good. Hopefully this is good enough. This is all I got. All right, Genesis is a great card to see here. Okay, don't mind that at all. All right, let's play my Genesis. All right, I guess that was enough. Wow, just make a big thing and pray. That's the whole deck, I guess. Alright, stole that game, I think, but game two could be a lot different. I'm gonna take out the Shriek Maws. I'm gonna take out the Spell Bombs. I'm gonna bring in all of these Mesmeric Fiends. I kinda like Snake Can Veil too, since the counter some of the spot removal that they could have. I'm gonna take out the Putrefies. I don't think they play many creatures. And if, if they play any creatures, it's gonna be something like a um, Dream Trawler or something like that. Uh, one more card to cut. I'll just cut a Mystic. I always just shave a random Mana Dork. Brawn could be another thing to cut. They could have something like um, Lingering Souls, something like that. So I kind of want to keep the Brawn in. Oh, it could have been this tournament. The problem with this, with the loss, the second loss, is that I am the lowest X and 2 right now. Because my I lost my first round and then that that my opponent has already dropped at this point. So my breakers are actually terrible. They're absolutely terrible. So even if I X2, I think I made top 16, maybe, but not even. There's no guarantee for that either. Um it's pretty cutthroat at the top tables right now, so it's a bit unfortunate. But that's what internet connections are. I think MTGO really, really just punishes people for having bad internet. <laughs> it's really that's really the truth. I'll keep this hand. If my bird stays alive, I get to play a lot with troll or even like, or even like a fauna shaman. Both are reasonable plays. Now I have Rot Troll with Cemetery for my Regenerate. Alright, worthy of a counter soul, that's for sure. Um, alright, play the Quagmire. I'm just gonna go for the Mimic for now. I could have actually just played the Untapped Land for Grizzly Salvage, but I kind of want the Quagmire into play as soon as I can. Alright, Shatter, not too bad. At the end of the world.
start with Mesmeric Fiend, finally. Double Oust, wow, okay. And then two lands. You know, Fauna Shaman, look how fast I am now. I think it also helps that if you just restart your MTG every now and then, you can get rid of the memory memory leak that kind of has, so. You drew another Shatter, amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I can play their vent. Might just be a battle of the uh the three mana creature lands. We'll go for a salvage, try to draw something good. There's a Genesis, that's pretty great. They have a bunch of outs though, so But I can just start genesising a bunch of stuff. I have a ton of mana. They have two outs, so I have to kind of play around that. There's one of them. So one of them still remains. Their hand is Oust and Glacial Fortress. I guess an unknown card. Alright, so if the Zerd is in their hand... I think they played a Glacial Fortress this turn, right? I mean, they did it last turn. I just kind of forgot. Alright, let's get back... A lot of cards. Let's get Man's Merrick Fiend. Right, that's a dreadnought. Probably taking the oust. Let's see. Oust, Zerda, and a land. So this just costs one in the black. Doesn't really matter. Take a and block this turn. Okay, I'll take the oust. Can't really stop the uh, Verils part of this next turn that I'm meant to do. Good draw. Really good draw. They've had ex ex <laughs> spectacular draws coming into this. They've drawn everything they really needed. But I drew my Dreadnought, so... Let's see if this is good enough. Didn't play the Zerda, so I think they have a Counterspell. This is in their hand. Plus not known. I'm gonna, I am gonna jam it. Okay. Okay, double creature land. Pretty tough to beat at this point. I'm gonna need another Verils to kind of put on the, the Quagmire. I think that's really my plan. We have two Verils just to go. Really can't do much here. Alright, someone just asked me about the top eight, which I probably won't record a top eight. Well, I will, but I won't. It's be really weird, but <laughs> someone else will stream it, but I will just call in to their stream, which should be fine. Alright. Salvaging for something. I need to find something here. Another barrel would be pretty nice. Okay, double fiend, birds, land, brawn. I'm gonna take the fiend. I have a lot of time. The clock is incredibly slow for my opponent. Hmm. 
Commit the memory, wow. Okay. I don't feel too bad about my position. I just need to draw something. Like a Fauna Shaman or like another barrel to be really nice. Everyone's kind of just struggling as well. They're just continuing to turn. They're not even attacking, which is great. <laughs> okay, maybe they're attacking. It's no really good block here, so I'm just going to take it. Double duty here, double dreadnought. Just gonna wait. Can't really do much about it. We could do like a mimic or I mean anything. Still gonna take all of this. Maybe it would be good if it had some future buys. It'd be good against the creature lands for sure. The bad thing about the Derek Fiend is that they just like. They're not good at blocking nor attacking. I want to just like hold the creature land and just let it hang out. Alright, so still nothing going on. I have to eventually trade the Quagmire, I guess, for their land. But it doesn't stop the Zerta idea. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to have to trade the Quagmire for their Shambling Vent. Hopefully they, don't have, they didn't draw, like, a Doom Blade or something like that, or some Doom Blade effect. Okay. Alright. More chumpers. <laughs> well, I just gets counterspelled, which is fine, I guess. I think this is fine. Hmm. The question is, do I trade the land for the land, or do I trade the Zerda for the land? I think I'm just going to kill the Zerda. Or maybe I could just like keep the Zerda around. 
Because if they have the wrath at some point, want to make a big creature. They have to kill their own guy. I don't know. It's looking bleak, for sure. No, I'm just going to block. If they're going to do this, I'm just going to block like this. I have plenty of mana. I don't really need anything else. Alright, a little late to the party. Actually, it's not. Well, no, it is. It still is. <laughs> well, not really. Hold on. I could actually chump. I could trade. I could chump this or whatever. Alright, that's game. <laughs> Can't deal with that. Do I really bring in putrefies? I love about putrefying into creature land. I think if like the game's gone to that length, then I'm probably gonna lose. So I'm just gonna keep it, keep it like I have it. Um, not bad. I can keep lands and spells. That's all I can ask for. I could draw a 12 12 and just start attacking. Sure. Totally fine with this. Next turn is the Mimic, so I'll probably just play two lands, or an untapped land here, i just play two spells. Might as well do this now. I found a Dreadnought, it's pretty decent. This is do. Draw two, gain two. Okay, it's pretty good. Let's see if they try to kill this. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Just stalling. Hmm, interesting. So if I draw, Bomb Shaman's good. It's a good one to draw. I, I played. What? That's not a Bomb Shaman. Oh my god, did I just misclick? I just like looked away. I actually just looked away. I swear I clicked the Fauna Shaman. That's a, that's a bad misclick. Oh well. Uh, oh well. I really thought I clicked. I don't know. I'll have to look back at that. I want to say I was distracted because I heard a noise, but that's just a poor excuse. That's just me 
down about it now. It's okay. I'm still trying to win. The next turn the Mimic, so I can just go get um, a Verils. So that's a pretty good Vindicate. Pretty bad. Because they had to Vindicate the guy, and then it's like, I would have made a 12-12. Who knows? Who knows what would have happened there? Okay. Well, I can tag into it with the Hissing Quagmire. Or I could just draw a Verils here. Or not. Um. The Mist looks really bad. Because they could have had like a 12 12. And who knows what would have happened there? My opponent has like one card. They do have like, you know, uh, Behold the Multiverse. And now I guess it's Dream Trawler. So who knows what would have happened? But I definitely just didn't help myself by misclicking. Okay, this looks pretty over. <laughs> this feels pretty over. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I definitely am getting pummeled by this Dream Trawler, which I really don't have an answer to. Okay, they did play Layering Souls, so the Brawn was good to have. Alright, I don't think there's any point in playing this anymore. I think they have it kind of locked up. Which I did misclick, I don't know. <laughs> What's up, guys? Your boy Jim McCary back with the uh, final thoughts of the list. I actually dropped in the last round. I didn't want to. I didn't want to play anymore. I think my head wasn't in it. Oh, so so disappointing at round five. If I just like, if I just like have good internet or just like make two more plays, even if I don't even like do the extra plays, even if I just like kind of attacked, if I just like did nothing and attacked, maybe that would have been better. But that's a hindsight call. I don't really like thinking about hindsights. But the inter my internet was just like it was struggling all tournament and. I'm on my phone internet now, but which maybe should have been happening the entire time, but it felt like I felt like the internet like that I had currently was like stable enough to try to like kind of ride it out, but oh, it wasn't meant to be. I mean, the deck was pretty sweet. Like I I made a good run. Like if I would have been if I won that fifth round, I would have forward one. Who knows what happened there? Uh, but being just being down that low at uh, X and two after that. After the brutal loss, then losing again, obviously to the Esper deck was just it's just not it. Like I wasn't gonna get anywhere significant. I mean, I this is I'm recording this round seven right now, but um, where was I? I was I would have been like fortieth. I I was at fortieth. There's no way I jumped like all the way to top sixteen. So it's pretty brutal. Like right now, the cut is like it's a uh, it's still X and two. X and two is no, it's probably like X two will definitely be the cut. For that, and I would not have made that. So, but yeah, I mean, the deck was sweet. Like, I think I, I made a lot of like interesting plays. I think the deck had a lot of legs. It just did a lot of different things. Kind of attacked at a lot of different angles. I I really played a broad amount of decks too, and I beat like a, a bit of like the top decks, which was like on my radar, which was the Agrosite deck and the Stifleknot deck, or the Hushnot deck rather. And I only lost to like Mono Red, which. I mean, they, they, I don't know, it just happened, I just happened to lose. But, ugh, I don't know what to say, this is, this is kind of brutal. Like, I've had, I've, I've had inner struggles all coming into this, and it, they fix itself, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just ranting, but it kind of fixed itself, like, up until, like, the day before the tournament, and then that night, the night before, it just, like, it just all crashed. And then I went back to, like, the kind of, like, spotty, dodgy internet, so... I look. I was really make, looking forward to making another run, but it just wasn't meant to be. The Internet Gods and I let it happen, but the deck was sweet. There's a different look at a Dreadnought list, obviously. Um, 
I think most cards are pretty good. Shriek Maul is like kind of the most iffiest card. If I had to change it, I'd probably just play all the Putrefies. I think Putrefy was like pretty strong. I mean, it's like a mix of like Bloodshoes first and Putrefy, and then maybe like play another a third one. I think I'd have room in the sideboard for some other things, but or maybe I just like one Bloodshoes Thirst. Play like two more. Then I have a spot here for something else. Um, other than that, yeah, I thought the deck was pretty fun. Fauna Shaman was pretty nuts. It just did a lot of things. The mimics were really good because they're basically just like creature ways to enable the dreadnought, obviously. So that was pretty sweet. Um, they're also sweet. It was a sweet deck. Uh, I I, I really don't. Have, I have very few complaints about it. In fact, I got to play my next ball and was like really good choice too. So just 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 unfortunate. It's just like really unfortunate. It, it didn't go my way. You don't. I'd rather like lose. I'd rather lose to, like, my own plays. Even that, I think that's kind of a bummer. But just to lose to, like, something I can't control is, it's just really disheartening. It, it just really is. It's just, and I, it's like, yeah, you and someone's like, well, you could have just tethered your internet at the very beginning. Well, I don't know. I think, like, I think I was fine without it. But hindsight, 2020, right? Anyways, thanks for watching. Um... I'll try to do, uh, the next video will probably be the rotation party. Assuming my internet is still good, but, <laughs> oh man, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching, appreciate the support. Uh, and yeah, see you around.